in the past video of end times i talked about uh, yesus mazus that was the first video in this video i will talk about imam mahdi imam mahdi we have two imam mahdis one is imam mahdi of sunni islam another is imam mahdi of shia islam the sunni islam gives some criterion symptoms signs of imam mahdi in 1979 one named khatani uh, uh, khatani he had all the signs he had all the signs and uh, people told him that he was imam mahdi and he uh, captured makkah and declared himself as imam mahdi in 1979 now the arabian government they are very good but tough in this sorts of matter they kill most of them by drowning them into the in the water they um, uh, fought uh, ferociously finally they took shelter under kaaba and the um, uh, uh, gra ground floor was the uh, ground floor of kaaba was filled with water because they did not surrender they did not surrender so most of his people died probably kahatani also died but he had all the signs you may get another kahatani in time with all the signs described in sunni islam kahatani had all the signs matched there are about dozens of signs all must however the shia islam is specific in this aspect it is a specific it is 12th imam from ahl al bayt he is imam mahdi but there is a problem he was born in 870 ad and uh, from that time with uh, uh, at the age of 4 or 5 he um, uh, was uh, lost this all the uh, shia so islam says that he is in um, occultation and he will come back so it is a difficult issue to identify who should be imam mahdi in this video i will try to identify him prophet muhammad said there will be 12 imam from his house Twelve Imam after him, twelve Kaim after him. The Hadith is described in uh, Bukhari and Muslim. Twelve uh, Imam, uh, they are they will be from the um, house of uh, from his house. They will be descendant of Hazrat Ali and Fatima. So yeah, at the same time he said specifically to uh, his close companions or companions that were was with him. at that time uh, when he was coming back from uh, hajj that after him ali will be uh, leader ali will be imam but when prophet died zud ali was only 32 year 32 or 34 years of age the people of madina uh, they were not habituated to uh, have a young leader Uh, in the in those uh, in those times uh, tribal chiefs used to be old men after his death his brother used to be um, tribal chief another old man after his death his brother would be tribal chief another old man so ali was very young at the same time uh, muslim did not uh, defeated byzantine and persian empire by, by that time to them uh, uh, leadership means leadership of madina and surrounding area so they were not ready to accept ali they were some of them some of them wanted a leader from madina proceed the situation was going out of hand hazrat abu bakar and hazrat amar control the situation ultimately hazrat abu bakar became first caliph first imam first caliph uh however Uh, uh ultimately umayyads came in power umayyads came in power 
but uh, uh, Prophet um, said that um, uh, Ali will be Imam, and after him there will be twelve Imam from his um, house. At the same time, Allah said in in the Quran, verse uh, twenty three of uh, chapter forty two, to love the uh, Ahlul Bayt. Uh, Ahlul Bayt. Um, it is the order of Allah. In verse uh, 33 of 33, Allah said that He wanted to uh, purify the um, uh, members of Halal Bayat. If Allah wanted to purify, that means they are already purified. So many sin, uh, the Shia normally say that Halal Bayat are sinless, they are masum. Therefore, People uh, rally behind the halal path. They assemble, they uh, want to obey or follow halal path. So Umayyads are in problem. Umayyads are in problem. Um, and there was some opposition also. Uh, this uh, uh, Initially, Ahlul Bayat were deeply motivated, prophets, as the Prophet said, the twelfth Imam will be Imam Mahdi. But uh, there were oppression against them. Different kind of oppression was uh, against the uh, Ahlul Bayat. So they started thinking that it would be sixth Imam. But sixth Imam was not uh, Imam Mahdi. Ultimately, they uh, they were confirmed that uh, it would be 12th Imam, 12th Imam. Uh, so it was a problem for Umayyads. Muabiya uh, became the uh, Sultan Caliph, first Sultan Caliph of uh, Islamic world. Uh, he married a Christian woman yeah, she was from a very powerful tribe of Damascus. Yazid born, uh, he, she was a mother of Yazid also. Yazid was brought up uh, in uh, her tribe. In those days, children used to be sent to the desert or to the tribes uh, to grow up. Because children growing up in the palaces or in the, uh, in the cities would be unfit to uh, survive in the desert. If sometimes uh, one of them would need to go to the desert, they would die. The, uh, surviving in the desert is very tough. So they used to send their children to the desert with the tribes and at the age of 10 to 15 they brought them back home. By that time they would be tough enough to uh, survive at any, uh, in the desert at any time in, it, in their lifetime. So Yazid was brought up with the tribe of the, his maternal, maternal, uh, maternal tribe. Uh, and they were Christian, so he had weakness for Christians. Uh, uh, Christians of uh, Damascus also supported uh, Moabia. Damascus was a, a crucial place. Uh, there was uh, Christians who were uh, from the um, uh, very powerful uh, influential during the time of Byzantine Empire. Damascus was a forward headquarter of Damascus headquarter. Damascus was forward headquarter of Byzantine Empire. Main headquarter of Byzantine Empire was Constantinople, but they have had separate forward headquarter also. When uh, uh, the emperor used to come for for a visit, he used to stay in those headquarters, and uh, Damascus was uh, was working as a regional headquarter as well. So there was palaces in the Damascus. There were there were high officials uh, from the Christians, and they were in very influ influential, educated, and powerful. At the same time, there were Jews in uh, Jerusalem. They also supported Moabia. Jews are in Jerusalem. So these are Jews are intelligent people. They were supporting. Uh, they were supporting Umayyad Caliph and uh, help them to survive. And uh, um, uh, <laughs> the main opposition at that time was Halal Bayat because people were has, had tendency to support them for religious reason. So uh, 
uh, one after another, um, the halal bayat was being killed by Pajani. Pajani. Hazrat Ali was killed, uh, but uh, after him, his son was, uh, uh, elder son was killed by poisoning. Then uh, Hussain was killed by uh, uh, through, uh, in Karbala, and that made a, made a huge cry, a huge human cry. Um, so they stopped killing dire uh, directly. Rest, rest all the, uh, the caliphs or uh, imams were killed by poisoning. That was safe. But not only Umayyads, after Umayyads, Abbasids came. Initially, Abbasids were good, good to Halal Bayat. But subsequently, they also started killing the uh, Imams by poisoning. When uh, people go, someone goes in power, it's the uh, it's, uh, same. <laughs> now, uh, when uh, Umayyads were in, in power, uh, Damascus was controlling, there were some Hadith. Uh, they control halal bayat by poisoning or by killing or by uh, suppressing them. And when they were in, uh, there were also, they also may, uh, circulated some false hadith as well. One of such false hadith is that uh, uh, Umayya, yeah, um, uh, Imam Mahdi will have high nose, high nose and large forehead, high nose and large forehead. Who have this high nose and large forehead? This high nose, big nose, big nose, pointed nose, and large forehead, slim face. Yeah, yeah, only original Arabs, some of original Arabs have this, this high nose, big nose. It's original Arab, and um, some of them are tribal people, and some are uh, from the cities, but they are original Arabs. But Prophet Muhammad did not have any uh, have high nose. Ali did not have, his sons did not have. Actually, Quraysh people, they do not have high nose, big nose and large uh, forehead. Because their Quraysh are from uh, the house of uh, Ismail. They are not original Arabs. Ismail is from Abraham. Abraham, Abraham is from Noah. Noah is from Europe. Noah was a European prophet. Uh, still, the, you see the Jews. Uh, many of Jews has got blue eyes because they maintain blood and they are from the people of Noah. They have blue eyes because they are from Europe. Noah was living uh, in the area of Caspian Sea and Black Sea. The area sunk, went under water. People say whole water world went under water, but actually it's not true. Only uh, Europe and Russia, that is low-lying area, it went under water. People say it because Allah ordered to uh, uh, take carry uh, pairs of all animals in the boat. So people think that as the pairs of all animals in the boat were carried, the whole earth sank under water. But it is not correct. Probably those animals were specialized animals of the polar, polar region. If uh, the uh, polar bear, polar fox, polar fox, polar deer, all these polar animals are dead. They will not be replaced. They cannot be replaced by animals from the south. An African bear will not go to uh, uh, to, to polar region, or he cannot. It cannot survive in the polar region. A fox from the from India cannot survive in the North Pole. It will die. So these specialized animals uh, were most likely carried in the boat, so that uh, local wilderness, European wilderness can return to its original position in course of time. So I think uh, for the scene of people of Noha, they were only sink, sank, uh, others uh, were not drowned. So uh, in the boat of Noah there was uh, his sons, uh, his son, uh, daughter, uh, daughter-in-laws and also some believers. These believers uh, went in, um, went and populated Europe and uh, Russian side. Only house of uh, Abraham, uh, they came towards the south. They settled in. Uh, ultimately, they settled in Nineveh and Babylon, and subsequently they went to Israel. They settled in Israel, and from them, uh, Ismail. Uh, 
settled in Makkah. Ismail settled in Makkah, but Ismail did not maintain brand. He married local women. However, yet the Islam is, uh, Ismail is from uh, uh, from the people of Noah, so he did not have big nose and large forehead. So it is not likely that Imam Mahdi will be from the. Uh, according to this hadith, it was not likely that. Imam Mahdi will be from the house of Ahlal Bayat. This is a Sunni hadith. Uh, Sunni hadith. Uh, it seems that it is a concocted hadith to defeat uh, uh, Ahlal Bayat. It is produced by the supporters of Umayyads. Maybe produced by the supporters of Umayyad. Those supporters are Jews and Christians, intellectuals. There are some other uh, 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 hadiths also that uh, he will be from the village of Kara. This uh, uh, Kahatani was from Kara, <laughs> but uh, according to uh, Shia thought, uh, twelfth Imam was born in uh, Samara, in the camp of Samara. Okay. The tenth uh, Imam was uh, arrested from Medina, and Abbasid Khalif took him in the Sama in Samara in the camp of Samara, and uh, kept him uh, under observation. He was uh, um, kept within the camp of Samara. Samara is near Baghdad. He was kept in Samara so that he can be uh, checked or he can be uh, um, observed. Uh, he can be kept under control. Uh, control or he can be kept under surveillance. So, 10th Imam was in the, in the camp. Uh, then 11, 11th Imam, he also uh, in, uh, lived his life in the camp of Samara. And 12th Imam uh, was born in Samara, in the camp, in the same camp. And people knew that he is the promised Imam Mahdi. At the age of four or five, he was um, about to be killed, and he hid himself in a cave under the under a in the hill under a mosque of um, under a mosque. In the cave under a mosque on the hill. Uh, so from where he disappeared. The Shia people said that uh, they, he is in occultation and he will be co uh, come back in due course of time. This is said by the uh, members from the house, uh, uh, house of uh, uh, Halal Bayat, house of Prophet Muhammad. They are uh, sinless people and it is likely they are true. There are some other uh, Sunni Hadith as well. The one that Imam Mahdi will be uh, made good by one night and uh, he will take over the charts. Uh, the Prophet's name and resemblance, uh, he will have Prophet's name and uh, his mother's name will be name, name of Prophet's mother's name, his father's name will be name of Prophet's father's name. All this uh, is show off, showing off. Actually, uh, these hadith, uh, Sunni hadith is me, counters Shia, Shia hadith. Shia, Shia hadith. Probably these hadith are made for uh, countering the idea that Imam Mahdi will be from the house of Ahlal Bayat. It is clearly said in the in Sunni Islam that Imam Mahdi will be from the house of uh, Hassan, not from Hussein. Why Hassan? Because Hassan left the Khilafat. He claim, left the claim of uh, Khilafat to Muabia. He left the claim of Khilafat to Muabia. Is it good to claim? Uh, did he do a good thing? It is good. Is it good to leave the leave the claim of uh, uh, Khilafat? Muabia was caliph uh, by namesake. He did not. Uh, he was not interested in Islam. He was just a king. He was a king. He did not preach Islam. He, uh, even he did not uh, uh, stop take, collecting uh, jizya from the new Mus Muslims who converted from Christianity. They used to be, because the tax collection will be low, so he did not stop um, uh, taking jizya from the new Muslim converting from uh, Christians. Where he is supposed to be happy and uh, 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 stop taking jizya from the new Muslims. The Umayyads captured uh, uh, Spain. Muslims are for, for, 
forbidden to attack Christians before they attack. Muslims cannot attack Christians unless they attack. Order for fighting is given in two places in the Quran. In chapter 4, Surah 4, order of fighting is given against hypocrites. Kill them wherever you find them. It is told in chapter 4 about hypocrites. In chapter, uh, chapter 9, give the permission to fight against pagans. Pagans. Fight them until they accept Islam. They start, start praying uh, as salat and pay jakat. So it means fight against them until they accept Islam. These, these are pagans, idolaters. And Christians can be fought, subdued and taken jizya if they are protecting those pagans. If the Christians are protecting the pagans, then only they can uh, be fought and they can be subdued and they can uh, and jizya can be taken. Otherwise Christians cannot be fought. Uh, Sahabas fought against Byzantine Empire, uh, Emperor because Byzantine Empire was protecting the pagans of Arabia. So By Byzantine Emperor was dislodged from Arabian, Arabian territories and Arabians accepted Islam. But Spain was a, a pure Christian country and Umayyads attacked Spain, captured Spain. They said it, it helped them gaining a lot of knowledge. What is the knowledge we are seeing now? 800 years they ruled without, with a zero result. Zero result. They did not convert. People of Spain did not accept Islam. They not only accept, uh, captured uh, Spain, they went further south, further north. They captured some islands of uh, uh, Spain and Italy also. 800, for 800 years unnecessarily they spent energy. Because they are white people, they like to interact with white people. They did not, uh, they should have preached Islam in the no south, Africa. The Christian countries of uh, the south, in the south of Congo river, river Congo, those are uh, Co um, DR Congo, Angola, South, Af uh, south, uh, south, south Africa. People of those countries uh, were pagans at that time. They accepted Christians for last four to five hundred years. Before that time they were pagan. When Islam was rising, they were pagans. Umayyads should have preached Islam in Africa. Instead they diverted their energy towards Spain, violating the order of the Quran. And when it was clearly said by Prophet that do not make navy, do not go where camels do not go, but they violated all the orders. They were not interested in preaching Islam. Actually, uh, uh, Umayyads were uh, emperor, uh, kings. They just, uh, they are called caliph, uh, 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 for the namesake, caliph. They are not. They are not caliph. They are kings, emp emp emperors, Islamic emperors. However, they were uh, they subdued Ahlal Bayt. Uh, actually, the caliph ruled from mosque. He does not become a king, or he does not have a have a uh, palace. He does not live in the palace. Caliph. What the caliph does? He uh, is the imam of a mosque. Uh, preferably Mosque of Medina or Mosque of Kufa. He is the Imam of the Mosque. He lead the prayer of the Mosque. He remains as a guardian. The countries under him are ruled by kings, armies, the elected president, whatever it is. They, they make the government. They run the government. Prophet did not make a crown. He did not make a, make a thorn. He did not make a palace. He did not have ceremonial guard. He did not printed money. He did not collected taxes. He did not have any police. He did not have a ministry or cabinet. He did not have a uh, parliament or Muslim Sura. He did not establish a government. It, it is not instructed in the Quran also to establish a government. Khalif is a religious guardian. He has got religious power. He lead. Muslim through the mosque scattered throughout the Islamic world and he collect jakat through the mosque 
and uh, spend zakat through the mosque. These two things he does. He command rule uh, command people remain as uh, 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 he he rule people through the mosque. Collect zakat through the mosque. He, he is a guardian like Imam Imam Khamenei. He is a guardian. Uh, Iran has their own um, uh, elected uh, government. If uh, Syria is obeying Iran, they have accepted the guardianship of Khamenei. If Iraq is obeying Khamenei, they have accepted the Khilafat of Imam Mahdi. Though they have, they not, they have not taken the oath ceremonially by Bayah. Even then, if somebody is obeying him, he is following Imam Mahdi. That's what the Caliph is. He is not a king or not an emperor. But these Umayyads are emperors. They are 100% emperors, kings. They are big harems, uh, many, uh, many uh, slave women, uh, many wives. And um, they used to drink also. They, they, they had a lot of um, amenities. They lived like a king. And they were kings. However, main point is Imam Mahdi. Who is then Imam Mahdi? Is this, is, are the Sunni correct or Shia? Shia is correct. Here is one thing is Shia ideology idea has got support of Holy Bible. Imam uh, Quran does not talk about Imam Mahdi, but it is said in Holy Bible. I will uh, uh, read out. Uh, um, chapter uh, 12 of Holy Bible and um, explain that it is, he is mentioned in Holy Bible. Revelation. Revelation is the book of, book of prophecy from, uh, from Jesus. Uh, from Jesus. It is a, uh, the book is from Jesus. Is the last book of prophecy. Then a great and mysterious sight appeared in the sky. There was a woman. In Bible prophecy, woman means uh, priestly system. Priestly system. Like uh, Vatican is a woman. Or, um, or Kadriya Torika leadership is a woman. Any priestly system is called woman. Then uh, 12 imams, imams from Ahlul Bayat can be called women. It is a priestly system, priestly system. Women means priestly system. A great and mysterious sight appeared in the sky. There was a woman there whose dress was the sun. Dress was sun. He was bright like sun. So he was, it was a true priestly system, enlightened priestly system. And who had the moon under her feet? The priestly system had moon under our feet. So it is a priestly system of Islam. Moon is sign of Islam. If there is a moon uh, uh, drawn on, on a building, you understand that it is a Muslim. Uh, it is an organization of Muslims. So moon is sign of Muslim. So woman had moon under her feet. So it is an Islamic priestly system. And a crown of 12 star on her head. The woman had crowned of 12 star on her head, so it has got relation with 12. In Islam, there is only priestly system that is related to 12 is um, Ahlal Bayat, 12 Imam of Ahlal Bayat. So this woman is a priestly system of Ahlal Bayat. She was soon to give birth. It means a great one will be born in this priestly system. And the pains and suffering of the child born made her cry out. So, a great one will be born in the priestly system of Ahlal Bayat. It is Imam Mahdi. Imam Mahdi. Now, Jesus saw another vision. What is that? Another mysterious sight appeared in the sky. There is a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns. Huge red dragon. In Bible prophecy, Dagon means Shaitan. Dagon means Shaitan. And here important thing is a beast represents, beast means uh, a empire. In Bible prophecy, a beast means empire also. Like uh, I discussed in, uh, in the past video, ram with two horns means 
Medo Persian Empire. Ram with one horn means Grecian Empire. So here, dragon with ten horns should mean a empire with ten nations. But dragon is is a fictitious animal. So fictitious animal. So and it is also it also represents Satan. So this empire is not do not exist in reality. Ten horn is working under some organization or something or, or, some, or, or some will and this organization is instigated by shaitan, dragon is shaitan. Ten horn is ten, ten uh, nations of Europe but they are not not an empire when they are uh, uh, the horns of dragon. This dragon in chapter 30 also you will see uh, a beast with ten horns. This dragon changes its shape. It changes its shape. Now he now ten horns is on horns are on the head of a dragon. And in the next chapter you will find ten horns are on the head of a leopard. When it is on the head of a leopard, it has formed an empire. Real, really, really on ground. It has formed an empire on ground. But here it is on the head of dragon means it is under some organization it is it has not formed or formed any empire but it is being instigated they are being instigated by shaitan some of their acts are being instigated by shaitan this ten horn means ten tribes of europe these ten tribes or ten original tribes of europe they have, they have many countries they, now they are mixed they may be mixed and they have formed many countries but they are originally Europeans are from these ten tribes. Those are Ostrogoth, Visigoth, Vandals, Sweb, Franks, Burgundian, Lombard, Alemanni, Alams and Bavarians. This time ten, ten Europeans tribe. They have got many countries but original tribes are this train. And this ten horns is, is on the head of a dragon. Means it is not a beast, it is a fictitious beast. So a, Empire is not established, but they are working on the provocation of shaitan, dragon. In some cases, as 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 example, after the breaking up of, of USSR, they identified Islam as the enemy of the superpower, and started fighting against Muslim. So they were uh, being driven by the shaitan. They identified the religion as the their enemy. So they were being uh, guided by dragon. Dragon was guiding them to come into Islamic territory and uh, uh, try to arrest people or fight against people who want to establish a stronger religious rule. So this dragon is a fictitious animal. He, is a, he represents Shaitan and on, on him there was ten horns, European races. And it has seven heads. Seven heads mean maybe may, may mean seven the europeans they have seven heads seven heads here seven heads may mean seven times they uh, ca captured uh, area uh, established the established em empire seven times they established empire they went beyond their area beyond europe like uh, first maybe alexander alexander then rome then british empire then French Empire, then um, uh, then Spanish Empire, they captured the South America, Spanish. Then Russian Empire, they captured many Muslim countries uh, like um, like Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan, all those area. Uh, six. Another one is uh, maybe uh, Germans. No, Italia, Italia. They captured uh, they they captured many countries in Africa. So, uh, um, uh, Greek, uh, Germ uh, Romans, then um, uh, uh, British, France, uh, Russians, um, Russians, Spanish, and Italians. Romans and Italians are different. Romans and Italians are different. I mean, Italian uh, of modern Italy. 
Italy. And Romans were old, old, old uh, Italian based, but they were not always uh, Italian. They were, their rulers were from German many a times. So Roman Empire, Empire is different. So there was, they, they had seven heads. Seven times they extended their empire beyond their jurisdiction or beyond their area. So they have seven heads. However, this head changes. In subsequent chap chapter, the head means something different. The animal chains from dragon it become a leopard. So dragon is fictitious, but leopard is real. In this way, this head is uh, empires, empires of the past. The countries are many, nations are ten, but they had seven head in seven in different area they, they extended their empire. Seven head. Now in the next chapter this head will mean something different. It, in prophecy, sometimes the meaning changes according to the description and situation. Now, dragon was the enemy. Dragon will be the enemy of this child. Dragon will be enemy of this child. Here, dragon means the forces of dragon is Antichrist. Antichrist. Antichrist will be controlling the ten horns, I mean European races. European races will fall under the deception of Antichrist. So Jesus Christ will come, mainly come to save them. Now this paragraph identify the enemy of the enemy. The enemy of the uh, Imam Mahdi. Imam Mahdi will fight against this uh, 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 dragon empire. Then war, war broke out in heaven. Uh, dragon was uh, thrown into ground. Then I heard a loud, loud voice. This uh, this uh, child, uh, Then the dragon realized that he had been thrown down to the earth. He began to pursue the woman. He had given birth to the boy. She was given the wings of large eagle in order to fly in her place in the desert where she will be taken care of for three and a half years. When the dragon, And then from the mouth of dragon poured out a flood of water after the woman. Woman means uh, uh, priestly system of 12 months. 11 imams are already dead. Rest is Imam Mahdi. Uh, dragon will pour out water uh, to uh, to defeat the woman. Means Imam Mahdi. Water water means uh, water means uh, soldiers, men. In Bible prophecy, water means humans. But the uh, but uh, uh, the um, the earth helped the woman. It opened the mouth and swallowed the water. This is uh, narrated in the Hadith. Yeah, when Imam Mahdi will be um, coming to from Medina to Makkah, and in Makkah he will be exposed. Uh, he will be exposed. Uh, a troop, a, a group of soldiers will be sent from uh, Syria. So maybe um, uh, maybe the forces of dragon will be sending those soldiers to Syria to catch Imam Mahdi, and on the way they will be swallowed by the earth near Baida. Baida. So this is said that earth opened his mouth and swallowed the water. So these children, uh, this child will fight uh, uh, the vision. In the vision it is told that this child will fight with a scepter. Prophet saw, probably saw it's like a scepter. It means weapon. weapon. He will fight with weapon. So it proves that he is not Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus Christ will not fight with weapon. He will have divine power. If we angrily look at someone, he will just burn. Jesus will have got immense divine, divine power after, uh, after the second coming. So he, he will not need any weapon to fight. These children, uh, child, uh, according to the Bible, uh, according to the Bible, this uh, child was taken to God.
uh, then she gave birth uh, to a son who will rule over the nation with an iron rod. Here iron rod means weapon. But the child was snatched away and taken to God and his thumb. The child was snatched away to God. In, uh, in the religion of Abraham, in, in, the, uh, uh, in the religion of Jewish, in Jewish religion, Christian religion, in Islamic religion, only one child is taken to God. That is 12th Imam, 12th Imam of Al Al Bayat. He was taken as child at the age of 4 to 8 years. He was taken to God. There is no other child uh, who, who is taken to God. Jesus was also taken to God just before crucifixion. But he was taken to God uh, when he was at the age of, uh, he was, his age was 33 or 34. He was not child. He was not child. And he will not fight with uh, a scepter. Jesus will not fight, uh, fight with a scepter. This boy is not Jesus Christ. This boy will fight with weapon. And he was taken to God as child. So this boy is not Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Since the boy is not Jesus Christ, the woman is not Mary. The Christians say they are Mary. Uh, the 12 star on the head of Mary means 12 tribes of Israel. But these tribes <laughs> killed his uh, Jesus. Why Mary will be wearing 12 star uh, as a sign of 12 tribes who killed uh, or attempted to kill his son by crucifixion? Mary is sitting with the sign of uh, killers who killed uh, her son. It cannot be. This is not uh, Mary. It is a wrong, wrong expression. This is, you can call, call, call her Fatima. Or you can call her priestly system of Imam Mahdi. And the child was taken as as child at four to, 5 to 8 years of age. And he will fight with weapon. Subsequently he has been called Word of, word of God, Ayatullah. So he was, he is Imam Mehdi. He will come uh, uh, before uh, as a forerunner of Jesus Christ. And he will help Jesus Christ to capture uh, Israel. Subsequently he will help Jesus Christ to defeat the beast empire. Jesus Christ will uh, kill uh, Antichrist. But beast empire will exist. Empire will exist and there will be many people who will not accept Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ will have to go into Europe in force. Imam Mahdi will help him to establish his power in Europe and save his, his people, loyal, those who will not take the seal of God, uh, seal of the beast. So uh, Imam Mahdi, uh, this uh, chapter 12 talks about Imam Mahdi. And uh, it is as it is supported by uh, Holy Bible and Allah said to um, said in the Quran to believe Bible. However, uh, it is in, uh, said in the Quran that uh, Bible is corrupted. But this from book of books of prophecy is not corrupted that much because people do not understand it how they will corrupt it. They normally try, try, they translate it, it, it word to word. They corrupted in case. They, they understood. Like, like name of Prophet Muhammad is translated as wonderful. Now people do not understand the verse is talking about Muhammad. Those, in those cases, how the, um, this um, corruption is uh, made, they, it is said in the Quran, they misplace some verses. Some verses are lost and some, uh, some are forgotten. They missed, um, uh, and uh, as they translated the uh, Holy Bible, uh, some words are changed and they misplaced some words uh, because probably wrong understanding or for wrong intention and some words are forgotten. This is how the Bible is corrupted. But this revelation is not corrupted that much. Uh, it is intact and it says that Imam Mahdi is real. So uh, uh, we will consider the uh, idea of Shia Islam is correct in respect of Imam Mahdi. However, these Shia people, they have some additional idea. They say that Imam Mahdi is occultation. He comes sometime, he gives advice to some people. It is just, uh, uh, it is not correct. Uh, I, I, now I, I, I say everybody that Imam Mahdi is coming to me to advise me sometimes. 
Now there will be out of ten people, three will believe. And they will start thinking, oh, Jakarya is a great man, Imam Mehdi comes to him. Thus I become a leader. These are all uh, uh, deception. This is, uh, these, these, are, these are not correct. Imam Mehdi does not come. He will come ceremony once. Uh, he does not come to advise people now and then. Uh, this may be, it may be wrong. Uh, it may be correct as well, I do not know. But main thing is, uh, Imam Mehdi is taken to God and he will return. The idea of uh, Shia Islam is correct in respect of Imam Mehdi. <coughs> the, uh, uh, the time of coming is near. European Union is already formed. And uh, I will discuss in the next video, likely timing when the Imam Mehdi may return to the earth. That's all. Uh, thank you.